This is part 2 of the tips and tricks tutorial. In part 1 we looked at defaults, display tricks and navigation. In part 2 we will look at pre-stack displays and presenting results. Visualizing pre-stack data is an important QC step in modern seismic interpretation workflows. OpenDetect can handle pre-stack data in SecY format as well as in internal CBVS format. While in interact mode, right click on an element in the 3D scene and select the display PS gather menu option. The data is displayed as it is stored on disk. Right click on the display to change the display properties. Basic pre-processing steps as mute, AGC and creating super getters are supported. Click and drag the gather to display the gather at another position. The same pre-stack viewer can be used for displaying offset related information stored in cubes. For example, if you have near, mid and far stacks, you can fake pre-stack gathers. To do this, go to Manage Seismic and click on the Manage Pre-stack Data icon. In this window, select the Create Multi-Cube Data Store and select the cubes you want to combine. Specify an offset for each cube and an output name for the fake gathers. Display the gathers as shown before. Let's continue with presenting your results. We start with grabbing an image for a report. Suppose we want to grab this horizon map. Before we grab it we can do a few things to make the image look better. First select another color bar. Then flip it to reflect the widely used standard that red corresponds to structural highs. Press the display color bar icon so that the color bar will be included in the grabbed image. Do the same with the display orientation axis and now orient the image with select the view north C option. If you want to display well positions, you can pick the locations in a pick set and display the picked locations. Next, let's add a contour display by right clicking in the tree. Now click on the camera perspective icon to toggle to orthographic view to get a flat image. Zoom in and change the background colors of the scene. This is done by selecting properties from the scene menu in the tree. Now we are ready to grab the image using the camera icon. For high resolution images we recommend to use the grab scene option as this option uses the graphics library to render the image. 300 dpi is sufficient for technical publications. Finally we will look at the Google Earth link. This link is used to display survey boundaries in Google Earth for reporting purposes. But you can also grab the outlined survey boundary and use the grabbed Google Earth image to reference your data in OpenDetect. Geographic images can be displayed at the top and bottom of a scene. Let's look how this is done. Open the survey setup window and press the Google icon. You have to give one reference point that links UTM coordinates, that is XY coordinates, to LED long coordinates that are used in Google Earth. You can use any UTM LED long converter on the internet to get the LED long coordinates belonging to your XY anchor position. Once this is established, save the survey boundaries in Google Earth.kml file. In Google Earth, open the .kml file and Google Earth will navigate to this location. To show only the survey boundaries, open the properties menu of the file entry which is located under the temporary places in the tree. Now display the survey boundaries as outline only and under altitude set the option to clamped to ground.
When you are done, grab the image using standard image grabbing software and go back to Open Detect. Right click in the tree on the scene entry and select the image either as top or bottom display. Optionally make the image transparent and if need be reposition the corner points to fit the image exactly. It is worth mentioning that in the current development version 4.01D it is also possible to dump the geometry of 2D seismic lines in .kml format, hence you can then display these in Google Earth. This concludes this tutorial about tips and tricks.